Hi guys and welcome to today's Bitcoin USD breakdown. Of course, we're starting on the one hour, but we'll be looking at the four hour, 30 minutes and 15 minute chart as well. So let's get to it and see what has been going on over the weekend, over the past week. So Saturday, Sunday, we've had again a lot of accumulation and here at Monday at 4 a.m. we have started to see the market just absolutely smash up into the air. Now remember we are going to have our pivot point standards strategy on and we are also going to have the moving average exponential on. So what we can see is we have been playing around this line here playing around it, breaking through it, and then we are now shooting up. But what we can see here is we do not have anything to actually, uh, I guess, stop us until we come up to here. But let's see and have a look at what has actually been going on in terms of a Fibonacci retracement. Because this might tell us something a little bit more. So what we can see is that we've already hit this 0.786 line in terms of a matter of hours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hours we've come up and we've hit this line. So what are we looking for? What are we looking for in terms of where's this market gonna go? Well, the thing is, we had a higher, sorry, a lower high and obviously a lower low here. And then we've had a lower high again and then a higher low. So if we break through here, we are now looking at a change in structure, in which case we are probably looking around this area, right up here, just here within this area, for a possible like return uh, to the downside, or in fact, we'll be pushing up and onwards over. So let's look at the four hour to see if it can give us a little bit more of an indication of where it's going to go. So we know that we've obviously got here, but what we can see if we draw out a trend line is that this area is quite strong. It's tried to break through it once, um, hasn't been able to do it, and then we've started to really fall down. So although this is an absolute almighty push, and I believe it could come up here, we are just playing around. If you look at it in terms of this four-hour chart, what are we doing? We are hitting this area multiple times, coming close to it, coming up to this area and just in accumulation phase right now. And we have been since basically the 19th of September, well, all the way up to 24th of October. Is it seasonality? Are we preparing for an absolutely massive move? Not 100% sure. We've been getting in and around these moves previously. And as you can see in this four hour chart, it has just been slowly falling, although it did rise over here. It's a slow fall, slow fall, and I wouldn't expect anything else other than a, uh, a slow fall. Do I think the market is going to come back up into this area over here? No. It's tried to do it once. It didn't work. It's still creating lower highs over here, and it out of all the areas that it's retesting, it's always this line. So the market is trying to push down. Something is just keeping it up, whether it's a whale, whether it's financial news. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm going to be looking at in terms of hopping into the market and where it's going to go, I should say. So what am I going to be looking at in terms of entries on this four hour? Absolutely nothing, because we've definitely missed it. There's no possible area in which we could have hopped back in. I would be looking at something on here, maybe even a pullback, hopping in something like this, short position, maybe even being a bit safer and doing something like this. And then eventually coming all the way back down to the bottom for a 3.5. Now that's a massive one. It could even come all the way back up to this line. If we're being completely honest, it could easily come all the way back up to this line because it's done it once, it's done it twice. Why not? Why not come all the way back up to this line? If we're going to put in such a massive move like this one over here, it seems like we're replicating it again, but that's what I would be looking for. But that's ages away right now. 
Again, on the one hour, how can we possibly hop in? Well, there are no, there are no re-entries to hop into. If anything, that was the, the entry right there. But the EMA is ages away. We're actually pushing up so fast that we're gapping here. So if you wanted to be super uh, aggressive on a trade, like really aggressive, this is what I'd be doing. I'd be placing right in here a uh, an order, a buy order. Because when it gaps, usually the market, in fact, 99% of the time, if the market gaps, it will come back down to this area and then it will continue going the way it's doing. So actually, I don't mind that in terms of risk. I'd put something like this, put it under where the EMA is now, maybe even something like there, and then go all the way up to here for a 3.71. That's something that I'm looking at. Probably will come down and fill in this gap. It nearly always does. I can't see another gap even around here anywhere. I mean, that's the tiniest gap in the world. And look, it came all the way back down into the area practically anyway. Same with these ones. Look, we gapped small part here. And then straight away, we came back down into that gap. So that's what I'm looking for if I was on the one hour and then continue to go up to the upside. But as soon as it hit a one-to-one -one ratio, something around this area, I would be putting my stop loss to break even. Why? Because as we can see, when it does gap, it turns around and it moves into a different corner here. Gaps here. Goes up a little bit, but then it's, it continues to fall down. And let's try and see if we can find another gap around here. Gapped it. Goes up. Falls all the way down. You know, that's the, the bigger gaps. That's what we're talking about here. But yeah, usually that's what we're looking for there on the one hour chart anyway let's have a look on the 30 minute chart to see if there's anything better again it's just it's starting to come back down to this area already but because it is such a big move and the 15 minutes is going to be exactly the same oh the 15 minutes because way more pivot lines but we've got no data ahead in front of us i mean it is a monday it's not, this is very uh, inconvenient and this usually doesn't happen on a Monday. So this is a very rare um, occasion for the market to actually be doing this. But again, you can see where the EMA is right here. So I might be doing something like this with the 15 minutes and then just chucking it slightly under here and then going for like a one to three, right? That would be wonderful. That would be a great trade. As you can see, it's coming back down. It could even just bounce off this line and then continue go up. We've got an EMA here to basically say, uh, give an extra area of you know uh, resistance, support, I should say, to keep it going. We've got a pivot line for support. Um, and then we've got a gap in here, which we think it's definitely going to come down to, right? So it would make a lot of sense for the market to come back down into this area. And you could even maybe get a little bit tighter by putting the stop loss here, I mean the entry here. And then yeah, keep the stop loss somewhere around here just in case it wicks through. And then yeah, you've got a 3.49 sitting right there and it really doesn't have to go that far. So that's actually really good. The 15 minute is actually looking the best at the moment. But let's see what happens. It's still a Monday, we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to go. Whatever way you kind of cut this cake, it's going to be fantastic for the rest of the week. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. You have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you later. Bye.